Good news. Good news. I thought I'd be able to get a, a picture going. Right, so we're in the woods. Looks absolutely incredible behind me. Everything's covered in snow, especially in the forest. It's a lot darker in here, but it's fine because I've got like 1.7 aperture on this, so I can really open it up and get all the light. But yeah, should get some nice foresty shots. Let's see. What I failed to explain there is that this is a continuation of the last video when I went out at dawn to photograph the snow that had fallen overnight in Bristol. There's also going to be a 10 metre walks based off this footage, so make sure you check that out, should be out soon. But at this point it was about halfway through the day and I was on my way to the Fallow Deer Park to see if I could get some shots of them in the snow. So the Fallow Deer are down on my left here, so... Um, oh, they're just moving through the forest. Oh, they look so nice. Okay, because I could go down to the bottom and see if I could get a shot, but they're just, they're just running up here. So I might just get the long lens out, try and get a few photos of them. I don't know whether they're going to come back down or whether they're going to come up towards the fence. So I'm just going to hang around here for a bit. There's certainly a group here walking up at this side about 7,500 meters from where I am. So I'll get out the long lens in a second. Oh, I hope they come up here. If not, I can't get them. Right, I'm gonna see what I can do. Good news, I'm allowed in the deer park. Bad news, I don't know where they are. They, they went over there last time. Um, I've got quite a good view over the hill here. Uh, see if I can see any. Um, if not, I'm gonna head to to my left as much as I can on the paths and see what I can see. And just as I started heading down the hill to see the fallow deer, I spotted a fox in the snow. And although I didn't take any nice pictures of it, I thought I couldn't not put this footage in because it's so nice, there's even two playing. So just enjoy this. And after they cleared off, I suddenly noticed behind that the fallow deer were there in the distance. Unfortunately, because of the fence around the deer park, I couldn't get any closer for the remainder of the day. So instead I experimented with trying to make a nice composition with the fallow deer in the distance. I knew I wasn't gonna get any full frame shots. So I tried to use the trees and the environment to complement the small herd of fallow deer and even particular individuals, which actually I think came out quite nicely and in the end forced me to look at it in a new way instead of just trying to capture the biggest image of a fallow deer that I possibly could. After wandering around the periphery of the deer park, I even saw a couple of buzzards sitting nicely on a branch in the distance. And then it was time for me to do my 10 meter walk. Let's go. Whilst filming the 10 meter walk, I also saw a couple of really nice photo opportunities involving these droplets just as the sun came through the trees. They were really abstract and I really thought, great, this is something where I can think a little bit outside the box and captured some underexposed photos. In fact, the second one here is more underexposed, which I prefer. And it reminded me that often it's better to underexpose photographs and then pull them back if need be, especially if you're shooting in RAW. Just to finish off this episode, I know I put this in the last video, but I actually remember taking a photo of it, which was also very representative of an L.S. Lowry painting, in particularly more because there's some color in it and the snow had started to melt. 
The second shot here is a more abstract one that I got before going into the woods. I enjoy the feeling of solitude and also the footsteps leading up to the bench and the tree with the snow on one side is quite nice. If those things had been a bit more defined, I think it could have been an even better picture. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time I intend to do less voiceover and more talking on camera, so be sure to check that one out. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.